All right, I wanted to go over uh, some radio setup here before I really get too much further. Um, one thing I did is I've got the gear switch set to gyro. And my swash type is 3 servo 120. And you can see that the, uh, the left side is going to be on channel 6, the right side on channel 2, and the elevator on channel 3. Alright, we are going to be using the pitch curve. We're going to be using the pitch curve to basically control the throttle output of the tricopter, uh, the tricopter motors. So basically you want a, uh, you just want a standard pitch curve going from 0 to 100 percent. And then we're going to be using the throttle curve to take care of the, um, to take care of the, uh, the gyro gain for the swash gyros. So basically in uh, in normal flight mode uh, the pitch curve or I'm sorry the throttle curve is completely flat um, about 85 percent straight across. Um, I've also got a fairly uh, conservative rate mode set up. So basically normal is going to be in heading hold and then stunt one and stunt two are both programmed for uh, for rate mode. So I can test rate mode and and uh, heading hold mode to see which one I like better or even switch. Uh, gyro sense this is going to be for the uh, tail servo and this is on the rudder dual rate switch and basically I've got uh, in position 2 at 65 percent position 1 is 70 percent position 0 75 percent those are all in heading hold mode but basically if I if I take off and I have uh, any kind of twitching in the tail I can quickly switch between three different gain settings in heading hold mode for the uh, for the yaw gyro. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as the radio setup goes. I mean you can go in and program in Expo or whatever else you like to program in uh, for however you like to fly. Um, but basically the pitch curve and the throttle curve again the throttle is going to be controlling the swash gyros. That's the throttle curve and the pitch curve is going to be controlling the RPM of the motors, 